but um so is are the prize money for the championship or like for teams at all is that going to get more bigger at all for um like the end of the year or since you've gotten a lot more eyes on the sport through like youtube and the other social media platforms from like ad revenue i mean that i think that's the plan go like they, we have like a crazy ass five-year plan like to be in stadiums, to be at these, you know what I mean? Like maybe it's not five, I think it was 50, whatever Mather said. It was like this huge, like long-term plan, you know? And it's like, it's it's doable. It's, we're getting there, we're growing. Um, the prize money, they haven't said anything about that getting bigger as of like this year, maybe even next year. Cause I think whenever we, as we grow, they're constantly putting stuff back into the sport or trying to make things better and like experiences better for the athlete, getting the athletes more sponsors. Cause like the athletes will make money, not just from, you know, winning the championship. Like we make, we get sponsors, we get opportunities and stuff like that. So it's, they're always looking for ways to make the athlete uh, have a better experience, have more opportunities. So it's like, they're, they're always putting it back into the league. Um, so, and I don't think, I mean, people that have been there, even not even from the beginning, but that truly love and understand it, they're not doing it for the money. They really, like, at least I'm not like, I, you know what I mean? Like I just truly loved playing it and like, being a part of it. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm sure that's an, a, an idea down the road. Um, cause I mean, they're, they're in partnerships with trying to get, um, like broadcast, like uh, getting this stuff, um, onto a network. So, and they're, they were in big talks. I don't know if it's going to happen this season, but they're getting closer every year with talking with a couple different options. So yeah, I can't, Very I can cool. see that being an option in the future. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, I, I would love to see, to see it grow cause you know, yeah. other sports out there, you know, other than football, baseball, basketball, and soccer, yeah. you know, kind of, you know, get it out there. So that's awesome. Yeah. yeah that's really cool. Yeah. Um, so, so with all the YouTube stuff and everything like that, so I know you said you're looking for sponsors. So like what, what kind of sponsors are you looking for, for, for the team? So, I mean, we've worked with all different types of brands. We've worked with clothing brands, food brands, um, mm -hmm. like grips, uh, accessory brands. Um, like this year, we're partnering with Health Pod. They do like lab work to help you make sure like all your stuff's working right. Um, so there's really no limit as far as like who, what type. Um, but we have like different sponsorship packages that will like based on what the brand's looking for. Like a lot of it is content creation because the league obviously does a ridiculously good job with that. So like we'll make them content reels. We're showing off their brands. They can have access to players. They can get booth space at these crazy giant expos that normally cost like three grand just to walk in the door as a vendor there. Um, they get ad space on our jerseys. They have their big logo on our jerseys. They can get like ad space on the floors. Like there's there's a whole different op bunch of options for um, for partners based on what they're looking for. We have a bunch of options that are already like created, but we've also worked with brands that are like, hey, what's your budget? What are you specifically looking for? And then the, the league will just custom make one uh, based on what they need. So, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So typically for, for a team, how many sponsors do you usually have per team? Um, ever it ranges. So like yeah. ideally we would have maybe a couple bigger sponsors um, just so it doesn't overwhelm the team of like, Hey, you know, post about this, talk about that. What do you know? So, but like last year we had uh, last year we had four, um, four small, one bigger one, a couple smaller ones. There's one team that has like seven. It just depends on like, there's no limit. It just depends on what you agree with. Like if you get a sponsor that's, Hey, I want exclusivity. I want to be the only people in your Jersey, nobody else. Then obviously that's going to cost a little bit more, but you're going to get a lot more exposure. You're going to get more athletes on board. You're going to get more for what you're paying for. So, uh, yeah, there's no, some people just get one big ass one for like 10 grand and that's all they need. Other people get like maybe 10 small little ones for a little bit here and there. So it, yeah, there's no. There's no answer to that question. <laughs> yeah. I, I can imagine like some random guy that like likes grid. He's like, I would like my state farm agency name on, on, yes. on the back of your shirt. Yes. Please. But hey, I'll, I'll promote state farm. If somebody wants to give us that kind of money. Cool. <laughs> I'll switch my insurance. No problem. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, um, are, are, are you, are you guys looking to expand? I know, I know you have the team in Atlanta, like you said before, mm -hmm. but are you looking to like expand into like, Texas, Mississippi, like kind of like North Carolina or South Carolina, like what's, is it, is this like for this year or the next year coming up, like to, yeah. to further it out? Yeah, we're actually um, in the works of talking with possible new teams, probably not for this year. Cause that's way too coming way too fast. Yeah. I feel like we literally just stopped last season and we're already coming in the season. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are the league is in the talks with, I think six different possible owners. Uh -huh. um, so we, 
we have to get we can't just get like one new team we have to get like one on each side right or like two on each side it can't just be one because then it's all weird uh bracket style wise so uh yeah they're definitely there they're always looking to expand it just takes a lot of um like finding the right because we just don't want anybody like we just yeah. don't want somebody like yeah i want to own a team and then they're not dedicated they're not, they don't understand it they're not it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of work it's not just like a you know a hobby like a, a thing you kind of try at it's like you gotta you gotta be dedicated to this stuff so they're they're making sure that these people are qualified um that they they mesh well with the the mission and where the league is going um uh, but they've they've been in the works we're talking with i believe at least six different owner possibilities so that's awesome yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Really cool. I wish it was going to happen this year, but I'll be patient. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I mean, you can't, it, it can't be like noble. that just like Lily just throws everything out. And then all of a sudden it just like crap. Yeah. So no, yeah, no. So, so speaking of noble, so with your orange shoes, like what are you going to do with noble? If, since, if they're not really doing so hot, are you, have you found like other orange shoes yet? It's so funny. Cause like I, once everybody started shitting on noble like I, I was like i can't wear these anymore and i kind of like i wore them out and they're kind of they're dead uh i still have them i was like maybe i'll just like wear them every once in a while but um i started i have like six different brands of shoes in my locker at the gym whether i like won them it's because i won like a pair of tears uh because i for winning like tampa bay games i got innovates from grid last year i have strike movement from something i don't remember why i have um <laughs> nanos that i got it they gave us at legends and then i have my born primitive savage shoes those are probably my favorites i've been wearing those non-stop um yeah man i don't know i'm like can you get more colors please because right now they only have like white and black because like, can you get maybe orange just get some maybe orange shoes no yes so yeah i'm trying to broaden my horizons but i did put orange shoelaces in the white ones so at least there's something in there i had to i had to put something in there you know yeah, yeah you, you could always paint it too that's true i can <laughs> yeah yeah. So, um, with the, I, uh, I actually talked about the born pair of shoes to a bunch of, bunch of my buddies on the podcast and like the way they look, they don't look, I, I just, for me, they just don't look appealing, especially with the yeah. born, with the born primitive, like the logo is pretty big. Yeah, yeah exactly. The huge yeah. ass logo. And I'm like, that doesn't, I mean, I don't think it looks so hot, but like, for a person that's worn them and you know competed in them, yeah. What what are your? Th I know you said they're your favorite, but like what what made you make them your favorite compared to all the other shoes that you've had? So I apparently must have like weird feet that don't. I can't wear Metcons; they're too narrow. Um, the Nanos. That's why I liked the Nobles because they were like obnoxiously wide and like could fit my feet. Mm -hmm. So and I would wear the Nanos. I actually got the Nano, whatever the hell they're called x3 i don't know they were like magenta i was like oh my god that's such an obnoxious color i want them i got them they were so uncomfortable and the heel was like massive and i'm like i want to feel the floor and i i really tried to like them and then once my born primitive ones came in the mail and i just opened them i was like oh my god my feet will fit like just i could tell by the shape of them that this was going to be great and i immediately returned the reebok ones um so they're they're breathable i can they're minimal um the top, so it's kind of like a mesh between Nano 2. I don't know if you ever, do you know what strike movement is? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, they have like a really breathable top mesh. Um, it's kind of like the two of those had a baby and made a shoe that is still stable. <laughs> so, because I like the strike movement, but I, I can't lift in them. Um, and they hurt my feet after a little while. Um, the Nanos... I've, I've always been a nano person up until like nine. Then I was like, I'm done with this. I'm sick of it. And then that's when I switched to Noble and I was like, Noble forever. And I'm like, wow, these are getting boring. They're the same thing and uh, nothing's getting any better. So yeah, um, that they're just, they're comfortable. I didn't have to break them in at all. I'm also lazy and I can leave them tied and take them on and off. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Probably not. You're not supposed probably, to do that. Probably not. Um, yeah, probably not. Um, so yeah, I, they're just, they fit my feet. That is like literally they're comfortable. They require no break in. I can lift in them. I can run in them. I could wear them for a very long time. Like I'll wear them all day at the gym. Cause usually I'm, I'm, I'm working out coaching. I have to leave to go like do like if I have a PT client come back. So yeah, they're right now. They're my, they're my go-tos. Yeah. For for me, like I, I'm a, I'm a, a Metcon guy for that. That's just, I've, yeah. I've tried. Nanos. I wish I could wear them. They have such fun colors, but they don't fit my feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's, I have to change them out like almost every six months. Yeah. And you're supposed to do that. I think that's like a thing. Yeah, like may maybe a little bit earlier sometimes too, because um, 
we went to like we went to I didn't wear the Met Cons at Disney. Just just oh god, that'd be a, a nightmare. But I had these Air Max shoes that I I rarely wore, and I and I walked around Disney with them, and my feet were dying, dying. Yeah. And I'm like, these are Air Max shoes. They I should have. They should be comfortable. And so yeah. I literally went to the outlet store and got like these cheap Metcon and also because I had the old my the black ones that I had and I had all those like okay let's get rid of these and then I got another another pair for the uh like a normal casual shoe walking shoe man like it felt so much better like I yeah. literally put them on I'm like oh my god like this is <laughs> and I'm like yeah and I, I'm like I know this is not going to be all like you know butterflies and in, in you know danny lions after, after like the next like couple months it's going to be like okay well i need to look for a new shoe yeah 